hello guys so welcome to Kyo tutorials so in this tutorial we are going to model and texture a oil tanker truck in 3ds max so let's get started so very first of all we'll be taking a reference of that particular uh, truck over here if you're having a blueprints where you can put it in the background that's also fine or even you can just take a reference over here go into rendering view image file and let's take a reference of that uh, truck over here so we'll be just taking a reference of this particular truck so we have few of the references over here so which will definitely help you help us to uh, achieve the result over here so I have some of the references which I have taken over here so let's start modeling this so very first of all how we'll start over here is like we'll be starting from this part and then we'll move on so very first of all let's take a uh, plane over here after taking a plane over here so let's zoom over here and let's see what we are going to model first so before we start modeling we'll be starting with this part over here for that what we'll be taking over here is like we'll be going to the extended primitives and we'll be taking a oil tank over here so let's take a oil tank over here After taking a oil tank, let's go into this angle snap toggle and let's make this as 90 degree over here. After doing this, press E and just rotate this and let's just push this up over here in this way. So after you are done with this, press F4 over here. And now what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll be definitely increasing its height a bit and uh, definitely increasing its segments if you require the height segments you can go with that and let's give some kind of a blend over here cap height if you want to increase its cap height you can go with the cap height so let's not go with more with a cap height so we can keep a bit of its cap height after your cap height is done over here so what we'll be doing is we'll be just increasing its sides over here so we'll just increase its sides like this over here after you're done with this, what we'll be doing over here is like if you want to increase its radius a bit, you can increase its radius and let's convert to editable poly select the vertices and you can just push it further so now what I want over here is like definitely we are going to create this uh, chases over here for the support of this truck for that how we'll be doing over here is like how we are going to create this so let's go on to the top view over here so let's go on to the top view of this and let's take a box over here so let's take let's take a box which is going to pass through this in this way after taking this box go into this select this scale a bit push it up and let's go to the top view over here and let's just drag it over here in this way after this is done over here we'll be selecting this both over here so let's select this and this and convert to editable poly so select this first and let's attach it with this let's go into the edges over here select all these edges and let's give some connects to it so let's give few connects and just push this over here select this scale this again select this give again two connects so 
select this over here. So what I'll be doing over here is like press 4, select this and this and let's give a bridge over here. Select this. So select this again and shift select this and let's give again a bridge select this and this and give a bridge and isolate so once you're done with this what we'll be doing over here is like this will be a part of this so let's just uh, go on to this view over here and just push this up so before we push this up what we'll be doing over here is like we need to create this uh, stand over here for the support of this so for that how we'll be creating is so now what I can do over here is like how we can create this stuff over here is like let's take a tube over here or else let's take a arc over here so let's take a arc over here so after taking a arc over here enabling viewport rectangular after doing this over here so what we'll be doing is like increase this convert to poly so let's convert to editable poly over here so press 4 go into the polygons over here so let's go into this and just select all the base polygons so subtract this so select this all So now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be just extruding this down press R and scale it straight so if you see this over here I have actually scaled it from down over here to make it more straighter that's it so now if you go into this and if you see this so I think we should save it once we haven't saved a file yet so let's go into file save as let's go into this truck and save it as one now what we'll be doing over here is like definitely I have generated this as a support for now So just push it in further over here so select this and just drag it over here so now what will happen is like this is going to be a copy over here so we can go with the multiple copies over here wherever it is required in this way So you can just save your file once again over here so definitely this is going to come up over here in this way for the truck part 
and this part definitely is going to go more down we are going to scale it make it more thicker over here so now if you see this over here uh, perfectly over here we need something like this over here so we'll be definitely creating this over here so let's go into this view over here so what we'll be doing over here is like let's take a line over here a bit up so off this so So we can just press backspace and just close that stuff over here. So now go into this and just give a extrude modifier. So let's go into this line, go into the vertices and let's give a fillet over here. So we can just give a bit of fillet to it and let's give a bit of extrude to it. So once you are assigning this extrude part over here, let's scale it down. This is very big over here and let's just place it in this way. So just place it in this way. Alright, so you can just place it in this way. So if required, you can uh, go into this vertices and you can just push it more inside over here. Alright. All right. Anyways, we'll definitely uh, scale that stuff if it is required afterwards. Also, not a problem. So I'll go onto this uh, view over here, and I'll just duplicate this stuff over here. So. So select this all over here and definitely you can go over there and mirror it and y axis take a copy of it and push it in this way. All right. So definitely uh, we are going to continue more with it. So we'll keep it over here. So guys, if you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section. I'll definitely get back. So we can just increase this or you can make uh, one more copy if it is required over here. 
think that's fine over here. All right. So save your file. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Keo Tutorials. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.